what's going on? Getting ready for my first real estate shoot. Packing up all my gear and gonna be heading over to my friend Jojo's house in a bit. Then we're gonna head over to the property and meet up with the real estate agent. So uh, I'll see you guys when I get there. We got all the gear, we got the Zion Weeble S with the, I think it's a Rokinen 14mm on my uh, Sony a7R 3 I'm very excited, been watching like a lot of tutorials and like walkthrough videos and just tips and tricks on how to really shoot real estate. People say it's very similar to like shooting automotive, you want to make sure you get all like the curves and the details of the architecture and all of that, so I should be pretty familiar with doing all that because I've done quite a few car shoots and They've all turned out pretty well. It's really hot out. It's like 93 degrees. I'm wearing pants. Got a little dressed up, but just trying to, you know, create a good presentation. Professionalism is very important. We're at the property right now with Jojo. Really out here with my boy Matt. This guy's gonna crush it today. Got a beautiful property up. We're running some ads, some lead generation ads, trying to get the property sold for the owner. It's looking good. What's going on guys? So we're outside of the home. We're gonna do uh, an exterior shot of the front of the home with the stabilizer. So for this, I'm probably just gonna be just doing a, just a pushing shot. We're just getting some detail shots of the koi pond. I'm doing an orbit around. Now I'm gonna get like a, a punching shot, more of the waterfall, just to get a, an additional thing I can cut between. And maybe even get some shots of the actual fish swimming in the water would be cool too. So far everything's going great. So now we're doing the uh, backyard. As you can see, it's a, a very nice backyard. They have a nice pool, hot tub, and they got the what's it called, slide. But yeah, so we're just gonna get a nice master wide shot of it, and then we're gonna go in and then get starting more like detail shots of like the waterfall, the slide, even just like the bar area, the cabana, things like that. So we pretty much finished up the exterior. Now we're gonna do the interior of the home. For this, you gotta make sure that like the counters look very clean, not too much junk all over the place. Like this doesn't need to be here. So just like move it, put it in somewhere else that you're not shooting. And then always just make sure you put everything back to where you found it. The exterior went pretty well. I got a bunch of different shots, got some sun flares, even just like, you know, what Jojo's doing, making sure everything's in a straight line. Like this is a nice little touch with some fruit. Um, I love the ceilings. The ceilings are awesome. Also, having fans on is really good too because it shows a lot of movement within the shot. I'm eating a peach. <laughs> How's the peach? Dude, the peach is so delicious, bro. I was starving. We've been working hard, man. We've been working hard for a while. It's now. been like three hours, three and a half hours. We still have to do photos. We're just doing videos. A little peach can't hurt. Yeah, a little peach can't hurt. Check out this view, though. So we're doing the interior. We just finished up doing the kitchen. We're gonna do the bathroom next. You 
want to shoot the, each room in like a different perspective, so we just shot this room facing this way. I'm going to face the other way and shoot just in different angles just to make sure you get enough coverage because when you're editing you want to have more than less. So when you're doing push and shots, you want to try to stay heel to toe when you're walking with a slight bend in your knees. It'll uh, help absorb the movement. So we just finished the last room. We did the office in the mud room and we uh, went around. We started doing drone exterior. Did video exterior. Interior, then interior video. Then we did photo exterior and then photo interior. Um, yeah, a lot of different rooms. I feel like we got a lot of coverage. So we'll see how it looks in the computer. I'm feeling very confident. We definitely got a lot of coverage. Made sure I got like many different angles just in case so she can have a variety of different shots so she can pick whatever she feels the best to showcase her space. But uh, yeah, so that's pretty much it for uh, today's shoot. Hope you guys enjoyed. Jojo is the man behind the camera. He might go fly the drone, hopefully get a sunset shot. But uh, looking a little dark out now, we might have missed it. But you never know. All G. Let's go.